Item number four, Tessie Union slash Ken, 5831 Old Post Road, Trolling Gardens LLC. It's right in the retail space. This first has the formal issues from the future side. So we're going to take a moment for it. That's what's the legal one. Residence fee essentially 
the primary use and then the retail being some more a subsidiary or accessory use. Um, having an apartment, smaller apartment, subsidiary apartment over a larger retail space seemed less consistent with the original sort of farm concept here. Is that something else that I wanted to talk to the commission about? It didn't seem like there was an easy way forward on, with that concept under the regulations, which is why it's here with the application. I'm not even sure if it's possible, but we figured it's a commission decision as to whether it's possible or not. But is this something we would discuss tonight? I mean, we, or is this left for public hearing when there's more elaboration on the application? I think the public hearing is probably the right place to, to address it, but at least you can have a preliminary discussion tonight to say, yeah, you but I don't want to prejudge it. That's why I'm concerned. Okay. I understand. And you, you, you can let the applicant know this is something you'd like more information about during the public hearing and you can let it discuss during the public hearing. That's not your yes. judgment. No. Uh, but that's at least putting the issue out there to say this is something you're flagging now that you're going to need to be addressing with. Yeah, we're very comfortable. Okay. That's fine. Are you done with your introduction to this application? Or I am. I, I guess that over the years I've been trained by this commission with previous members on it, and they've always told me uh, keep it short and simple because they basically want all the information on the public record and the public hearing. So and that's how I've I been, feel about it. Yeah, we're kind of trained to do it that way. So. Well, you're, it's good training. Thank you. <laughs> Just to explain on the application fee, it really boils down to whether the greenhouses are structures. Well, I can't okay. answer that. If he's looking for an answer from me, um, you're the... I, I said they had not really moved in a very long time, so they seemed like structures to me. That's why I said that, therefore, you the, needed to apply as if they were structures. They look like this? Yes, so they're actually pictures. Those are them. Yes. 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 Um, Eric, is, is, is the, 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 the question the also the whether they're retail or whether they're... Or they're retail, retail, not what he's going to build, right? No, they, they, those are the existing structures. They're existing. Right. Those are there today. Right. But you're going to build another structure, is that correct? Yeah, we're going to, we're going to take out the retail uh, uh, area that's, that's shown in the top picture, and the greenhouses that are shown in the bottom picture are all the same. Is that in the R30 or R20, or is it? That would be in the, I think it's, it's, it's I know the uh, Retail areas in the uh, R30, and I would say the bulk, if not entirely, all of the greenhouses are also in the R30 zone. So you're doing your calculations upon which you derive that number of $2,000 on what square footage exactly? What's a, you have total about the bottom. Okay, yeah. Um, well, my summary sheet. The... Um, 1,300 square feet is for the, uh, the greenhouses um, and the shed. The sales area is 818 square feet, and that's all that's on the property today. And then what we do, what we're proposing to do, as we go through with this, is uh, we're proposing to take out that 818 square foot of um, retail area and then put in the permanent uh, building, which is Now, when you say when you say retail area, that's that's the area here. It's basically where the cash. I, I understand. Is. Yeah. There's a couple ways nurseries work. One is there's one retail area and you have production greenhouses and everything's pulled to the retail area. There's another that the retail area has a little bit of everything, and you walk through all the greenhouses and pull from each greenhouse. This is a ladder. So it's going to be still some computation. production, greenhouses, and retail space. Um, so people won't be walking through the greenhouses picking out their flowers. Yep, yep. People actually do walk to the greenhouses. Okay. And that would be retail space. Yes. So all of it is retail space. Yes. Mr. Graberick, I'm just trying to understand how you did your calculations uh, to derive that figure of 2006. Two thousand six hundred seventy-six and forty cents. It's the square footage of all the structures. All the structures all that the are structures there present now. Plus the proposed. Plus the proposed. Which includes both levels. Yes. So the calculations you're referring to actually just pulled out of the email that Julie sent me and stuck them on top of it. Okay. So they're it's, it's computed based upon what's there and what's going to be there. Yes. Yes. 
That seems redundant, no? Well, it's based on the use of yes. privilege, and that's what he's asking whether or not you're going to count for the amount of evidence. I know up there to do my party yeah. curtains. So the, 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 the structures that we're talking about are they're like lean tubes. I mean, they're, they're made out of wood. I'm seeing that. Yeah. So, and they take the plastics down and stuff. I wouldn't classify them as, even though they're, they, they're in the same spot every year, every year as structures. I mean, they, my, Eddie, my insurance company has some structures. Your, your greenhouses? And when they went down in 2011, they were structures. There's also other hoop houses, which are a little different. Right. Were those so structures? Put nurseries. Were those structures? I, I, I don't have any hoop houses, so I can't comment on whether they're structures. I excuse, me, excuse me. My name is Scott Baker. I, I got I to gotta ask a couple questions because this is getting a little nuts. Clinton Nurseries. Clinton Nurseries comes and wants to build a facility. You guys are going to measure the square footage of all their hoop houses and you're going to whack them $100,000, $1,000. I don't understand what happened to this debate. We're farmers. Wait, 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 We're farmers. They don't meet the definition of structure. They don't. It's that simple. We need the meeting to come to work. It's that simple. Hold on. I'm trying to appreciate what we're doing here, OK? I can see your concern, but you're not an applicant here tonight, are you? He's the applicant. He's the applicant. You're the applicant. I'm the farmer, sir. Okay. I move so, greenhouse structures all over the property. Yes. I, I, I understand. I understand. Okay. Let's let's get to the bottom. The question is a fair question. Right. If if all these things are structures, at some point in time there are maybe other structures that come before us of a much greater magnitude. Is that what we're going to? Is there a definition of a structure? Yes, there is. Do you need a permit to build to move these structures around or put one up? You have to keep doing the setbacks, at least as far as I would understand it. And therefore, from my standpoint, they're greater than six feet tall. They're, they look like structures to me. Now, do you need a permit? I think. Is your question, would you, would you need to get a building permit to yeah. fill one of these? Uh, what's the answer? A greenhouse? For a temporary structure as such as this? Bakers do not need a permit to build a greenhouse. Mr. Can, can, can we, we, this is not a public hearing, okay? Right. We, we have an application here for I asked the question. It shows why you're in this problem. People well, don't know. We got an architect that we have a member to ask the question to the DEO. Everybody is still required. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's talk one at a time, okay? This is a matter here. Okay. It was sufficiently unclear that I wanted the commission to at least discuss it and say we don't think it's a structure that we don't look at. But I still need an answer to the question yes, of whether we have a definition of structure in our regulations. We have a definition of structure in general. Okay, can we see what we have a definition of temporary structure? Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Mr. Chairman, yes, and I, I would like to um, let's take a second say uh, Clinton Nurseries has two houses. He has two houses too up there. He also has the, the Clinton Nursery is not before us tonight. Okay. I'm just saying, for if they come before us, we can't, or anybody else, well, it, should be, it should be a structure. That's my, 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 the way let's, let's hear. Let me first, I'm going to structure, then we temporary structure. Okay. Let's start with structure, so we don't do that, and then we're going to temporary structure. Structure is anything constructed or erected, including a building which is placed on a lot, or anything attached to something at a permanent location on or beneath the ground, including swimming pools and retaining walls that are three feet in height, but excluding walls or fences less than six feet in height. Uh, temporary structure, a structure that is not permanently affixed to the property, including membrane structures, including but not limited to hoop houses and tents. Temporary structure shall be permitted for a period of time not to exceed 60 days from the date of issuance of a building permit. <coughs> Structures which are not permanently fixed, which are, which are to remain more than 60 days, are considered permanent. So that's where I came up with, it looks like a structure. I can see one green. Okay. <coughs> Does that have to do with farming or proof? No, this is a structure. This is Okay. I see you definition this structure. Does this pertain to farms? It pertains to any structure. Can I ask what the difference in terms of the applicant would be if the, uh, the greenhouses, all the greenhouses, all the 
houses, instead of being used for assembly, they would actually be home to the category of retail. How, you know, I just, how is it going to change the application? It's a, a structure is a structure. Yeah, yeah, it's based on the structure of the structure, not the piece. But that's what we're talking about, is the piece. Gary uh, had brought up the, the differentiation between the two, and I just want to... Well, I didn't know what it would be based on at the time, because there's a lot about retail on, on the... Anyone else want to chime in here? We're being asked to do something. Uh, this, this. Alleviate the monetary burden here for the What's the zoning status of those structures? Are they pre existing, yes. non conforming? Um, I don't know that they're not conforming. Well, the they're, they're, they're not pre existing. They're, they're pre existing. They're pre -existing. So why does he have to deal with those other structures? Is he changing the use? Well, what he's changing the use? Where? It's still a farm. But he's coming in for an application at this point, and it's the first application that we have for him at the farm. And it's being used as a farm. Do we need a legal opinion on this? Uh, it's up to the commission how you decide. Well, I, I can't I can't decide in a vacuum. I mean, I don't know what is legally right or not. Um, I mean, as I read the definition, I mean, as it is being read to me and I listen to it, it sounds like the structures are right. But who said that? I think it's the definition of the structure. But I agree with you that maybe we do need to. When you look at how you apply fees generally, that's a different discussion. The way our fee structure is set up presently, because this is the first time these structures are coming in front of us for an application, we're imposing a fee on them. This is the first time we're changing the use to farm. There are really a whole bunch of things involving these structures that have never well, I, been. I, I assume that whatever we do here, we're going to have to be consistent. Right. right? We have been consistent in applying fees in the past to structures. So the only question is, is, is this a structure? We've applied these same fees to these types of structures? No, no, that's what has ever come up before. No, okay. yeah. Well, that's my point. Yeah, that's I mean, if, <laughs> whatever we do here, it's, it's going to come, it may come up again. Yes with structures that are very similar to this. Absolutely. So we need to be right about it. Or consistent, anyway. Consistent. Consistent, right. I don't know that there's a definitive right answer. This is a matter of interpretation. I don't know that there's a, a question of, I'm not sure you're going to get a judge to give you a legal answer here. No, we're going to have to do it ourselves. Mr. So, Chair, <coughs> Alan brought up if the other ones were pre-existing, not conforming and they've been there. We could leave those out, no? Just go with this. Well, this is that way, too. Right. And, and I say that another residential person wanted to put a, say, a shed that has a carport, right? It's considered a structure based by the definition. It's a structure. Can I put a devil's advocate in here? If we have all the square footage and we want to replace those with a warehouse with lesser square footage, we'd be more, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, it's it's okay to review them, you know, to view them as being structures, but then if something comes in the future, we've got like a lot of floor space, but it's less than what you have now, and that puts you into another area of consideration. I have a question for you. How does the fee language, is it, I know, the, the question is, does the fee language entail charging for existing structures on the property? And can we waive it? Yes, you have the right to waive it. You have the right to waive the fees. I mean, you certainly can waive the fees irrespective of any way you come out here. So if you decide yes the structure but you think it's not worthy of a fee, that's a different issue. That may solve your issue easily. But this is a in, this is a case of special exception. Um, we have new construction of changing the use, which I think is the issue here. We're changing the use because you've never you've never given a special exception for a farming use. Therefore the change of use under the regulations triggers Per each square foot of building where the change applies, 15 cents. Okay, that's 
k to b was bigger than that. So that's where we're going up to phi. Again, if you want to weigh the phi, that's, I, I, I don't care. But at least that, that's why we feel up to phi. All right, but we can't really, really weigh one phi one day and, and not then, weigh it another day. I understand that. subsequent potential applications of a similar nature. And I want to be consistent. Have, and I want to be consistent, not from the public, Mr. Cashman. You guys are dancing around in a circle because you're not allowed to do something. And I, I really, you want to resolve it tonight, and I would really like to be able to help you do that. Jeff. I've had several greenhouses of my own, and we, you're we, missing we, something. We have an Mr. Cashman, we have someone that has similar structures on the commission. I think we have some legal minds here, uh, we'll figure it out. I mean, the question is, it has two parts. One, we want to waive it for this applicant, which has implications for future applicants. They're going to waive it in front of us. Right. Not the same waiver, but... <laughs> or, or we can consider this not a permanent structure. One of the Mr. Chair, let me ask this. How, how many... It's almost impossible to know it is. Ultimately, it's only going to apply to uses that have never been given permits. Um, only and only if they come in to try and somehow legally change or validate their permits. So it may not happen again for another year or five years, or you may see three of them the next year. Okay, um, what, what, what are the parameters for granting waivers? Is there some... I think it's, it's a no, guideline. No, it is a guideline. We like it or we don't like it. Discretionary. Well, or you think it's fairness? You think it's, it's just a matter of, of whether you think in this case it's fair or it's fair. Is there any, for, do we have, uh, this has never come up before in, in your tenure here. Not my but is there any precedent or can anybody inform us of any precedent? Well, usually you waive fees in cases where not, a, not with respect to waiving fees, okay. but with respect to the charges for the special exceptions. Yeah, these sorts of special exceptions have always been considered fee worthy because it's the first time you're coming in for a particular use. So every time you come in for a particular use that has never been permitted before, you have to pay the fee. So that's that is the, the pattern of going backwards. So I don't think in that case you're changing your behavior by imposing the fee here. But again, are these sufficiently permanent? Are these sufficiently, you know, again, whatever you want to call them, that you don't want to impose the fee, that's a discretionary call in your part. I don't know the, I don't know the right answer. Mr. Chairman? Yes, sir. My wife and I respectfully request that you make an exception. In this case, we don't believe there's other farms like ours with five greenhouses to raise plants. I don't think you're going to see this in the next year or so. You just don't have the kind of farm this time. You're asking us to waive the fee. Yes, please. Okay. Well, I don't want to belabor this. I think we discussed this sufficiently. I would entertain a motion for that effect. If that is a proper procedure, I think it is. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to waive the fees for this one time. 
for the okay, we have a motion we have for a the let's 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 get this right. Right. for the structures right so we'll pay a fee and it's a it's the the fee. The it just wouldn't be yeah structures. What, what is the difference in the two fees? About two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars. So it would be about six or seven hundred dollars without the. Uh, how much was that? About six or seven hundred dollars uh, without that. One hundred and eighty dollars and thirty-five cents without the greenhouse. And so it'd be twenty-six hundred with them. Mm -hmm. So that's I guess the only question I would have is how difficult will this make your life and the future needs of people come out? Yeah, it won't. So it won't? No, nope. okay. because it's up to the commission to say that anybody can always ask to have the... It doesn't cost anything to ask, right? Exactly. It doesn't to ask and... So that's the motion you intend to, right? Yep. And the power is there approximately $2,000. I'll second it. Any discussion? Back that up about farm. It would probably be 
helpful. Retail with a farm with a, with a okay. Okay. we can do that with farm management department. But yes, thanks, thanks for the budget. Yeah, we, we have done the uh, soil test. We have some other funds for that. Yes. Thank you very much. Is that it for discussion? If so, I'd like to call on the vote here. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. I understand. Okay, it's good with the public here. Thank you. Thank you. Item number five. Do you want me to second? What's that? Yeah, we're getting that. Okay, I'll Thank you. 